So here at this facility we have a blowfill seal manufacturing site where we're manufacturing sterile liquids and packaging them in uh, blister packs. And it's important for us as a pharmaceutical product to be able to guarantee the, the quality and the integrity of our products. So this is our blowfill seal department. We blow plastic bottles in a sterile environment, then fill them with a sterile liquid and seal them before passing them into a non-sterile packaging area where we pack them into a blister pack. So the plastic bottles, after they've been filled and sealed, pass from the sterile area into our packaging area. The bottles pass along the conveyor and they pass into the deflash machine, which then cuts off the excess plastic and separates the bottles before they pass on to the packaging area. The product then comes down to our blister pack line. We label the product and then we have a vision system that will check the label is correct. The robot will then pick up the correctly labelled nebules and place them in the blister pack. If the label is not correct, then the robot will not pick up the product and it will pass through to the waste stream. And depending on the speed of the downstream process, the robot can either pick up product and put it into the accumulator instead of into the blister pack. If the downstream process is running faster than the upstream part, the robot will take product out of the accumulator and add that into the blister as well. Once placed correctly in the blister pack, the product then flows down through the blister packer itself where a top foil is applied and sealed. This is all done in a nitrogen atmosphere to ensure a long shelf life on the product. The products are then check weighed and then collated in bundles before packing into shippers and pallets ready for dispatch. As part of an expansion project, we've increased the speed of the line and we needed to be able to accurately and repeatedly put the product into the right part of the blister every time. We also needed to be able to pick up the good product while neglecting any uh, defects and letting those go to waste. And we needed to be able to reproducibly put those products into the right spot at the right time at our increasing, increasing speeds. So ADDE, they did the line integration for us because it's, it's, it's important for the robot to work in part in construction with a wider packing line. So they were looking after not only the installation and the design of after our specifications, um, they helped with the selection of the robot and then also with the integration of that into the wider control system for the rest of the packing line and then making sure that the installation was as smooth as possible and with as little downtime on the line as we could manage. We've got a long relationship with the client here and done quite a lot of work in the pharmaceutical industry and uh, a lot of the equipment in this line is we've put in a number of years ago and they came to us and needed to increase the production and throughput and uh, loading the blister pack was a key part of that. So we looked at the requirements for the speeds that needed to be achieved. We initially looked at dedicated pneumatic transfer equipment, but then we realised that the flex picker had the opportunity to do this with a lot more flexibility, speed and allowed us to, to really expand on the capability of the line by doing it with a, with a robot rather than dedicated equipment. And why did you choose the ABB robots? We are an ABB partner, um, so we've got a lot of experience with the robots. The flex picker in particular, the speed and capability of the machine, the fact that it sits above the line and uh, is very good for the line clearance requirement in pharmaceutical, um, but it's really just speed and capability. It's a particularly demanding application for the cycle time and the interactions that are required. We really needed the, the speed to make the fast decisions to enable the process to work the way it does. And what sort of savings have you made in terms of the production costs and energy usage so far? The big thing for us with the, with the robots has been around um, increasing throughput down the line. It's been part of a wider project where we've significantly improved the volumes um, and production speed of the packing line. And to be able to do that, we had to be able to run the packing line faster, so we had to place the products into the blister pack faster, and it's been a key component of that for us. And are you happy with the installation? Is there anything that you do plan to improve? Uh, we're very happy with the installation. It's settled in very, very nicely um, and achieving some great production rates. Um, so, yeah, very happy.